I had just a wild game on Saturday. What has been your um, kind of experience these past couple of days reflecting from what happened? Uh, I mean, I think that the whole team came together. And, uh, I mean, we ultimately fought against the odds and had a lot of fun while we was out there doing it. And so, I mean, I think it kind of boosted team morale that we won that game. <clears throat> And I asked Liam the same thing, but I mean, you know, it, it did seem like there was more of an, an effort, more of a, you know, a lot of guys stepped up Saturday. I mean, what did you see, I guess, in the past week throughout the team, the locker room to kind of step up like that? Uh, I mean, I think like as like, with a lot of people opting out and stuff, it was kind of like a distraction for most. But uh, a lot of guys knew that they had to step up and like take the role of uh, like a veteran player and play like a veteran player because the team counted on them. And so... I think a lot of people answered that call and uh, ultimately did that thing, just like uh, uh, K Booty. He stepped up and made a lot of big plays during the game, and that's when we needed him the most, and I mean, ultimately, he did it. Hey, Ed, I mean, with the way the season has gone, with the opportunity to finish at 5-5 five and five, and on your first potential win streak of the season, just how has this year been and what would a win mean for y'all going forward? I mean, we've had a lot of ups and downs, as everyone has seen. And, uh, I mean, it's been a roller coaster ride, so it wasn't it wasn't expected going into the season that this is how the season was going to go. But I mean, um, if we can finish uh, winning out the season, I'm pretty sure like it'll uh, be everybody will be happy, including me. I mean, I'll be extremely happy if we can finish out uh, winning the next into the season, and it'll kind of boost us going into next season with these wins. Hey, Ed, uh, such a great team victory for everyone, an unbelievable field goal. Um, but it seems like this game's going to be remembered for a guy throwing a shoe at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> what was your perspective of that down there? What did, were you in disbelief? I mean, what, what did you see? I mean, uh, like, I didn't actually see him throw the shoe. When I found out he threw it, I was like, shoot, I need to go get this dude a hug after the game because, I mean, ultimately he put us in a place to make – I mean, put us in a place to go – and kick the field goal, so, I mean, I'm thankful for him throwing the shoe. <laughs> what was your perspective on the field goal? Did you see it go through the uprights, the fog and everything? Yeah, I could see it, uh, so I was blocking a big dude over me, so my head was down at first, and so once I looked up and I could just see him, just like, I'm just praying like it goes through, because it it's straight down the middle, I'm just praying they had enough power to go through, and they had more than enough power to go through, and I just went crazy. And so you guys as an offensive line are really coming off probably your best performance of the season with Florida, you know, coming in leading the SEC in sacks and, you know, you guys protecting Max pretty well. I guess kind of how big of a momentum boost was it for you guys as an offensive line to kind of string together a couple of these, you know, good performances heading into the offseason? How, how important is that for y'all? It's felt good. I mean, um, each and every week we've been uh, getting better with our chemistry and just building on that and then also having two different uh, – Freshman quarterbacks behind us has kind of been uh, a thing too with chemistry. So uh, this last game, we kind of all gelled together and like just put up in one big package and just ultimately did the had our best performance. Hey, Ed, I got uh, two quick questions. Uh, what, what does uh, coach has not named a starter for this week? But what was the element that Max brought in terms of the running game uh, and how that make, helped ignite the offense? The running game? Um, being a threat. Being a threat in the running game. I mean, uh, I think Max, he loves to run. I mean, I'm pretty sure y'all seen him during the game. That dude, once he gets on the edge, he he's going up up the field. So, I mean, he's a, a speedy quarterback that can run and throw the ball. So, I think that's a crucial part. And secondly, you know, you've been in this, this I call it rivalry, but you know, what's the what's LSU Ole Miss week like for, you know, you're, you're from Texas, you didn't grow up in it, but you learned that, you learned that there, there is something something to this this rivalry. I mean, ultimately, uh, like with our strength staff and like everybody on our staff, I mean, it's just a big, like a uh, love-hate type of game. So I've been in games like this. Uh, coming from DeSoto, we had a, a rivalry from Cedar Hill. So it's like the Battle of Beltline. So... We've had this love-hate relationship for the longest, and so, I mean, it's a pretty big deal over here, especially with the Magnolia Bowl. Uh, and that's, that's sacrificing.
had this week being early signing period, it's kind of weird being in the middle of a season like this, but um, you know, there's been uh, attention about the offensive line and helping out and I, everybody gets kind of an extra year in this. Um, talk to Liam a little bit about his thought process going into next year. At what point do you kind of think about what what you might do? I know that, you know, y'all have a pretty tight bond on the offensive line. I'm curious what, what you might be kind of considering about the future in y'all's unit. Uh, right now, I'm kind of in a neutral state. Uh, I'm waiting until after this last game to kind of think about what uh, options, uh, what what's road I want to take because, um, I mean, it's a big, big decision that I have to make. It's either I declare or I can stay one more year and declare, but I can risk uh, injury too at that. And so, I mean, it's a, a lot of factors I got to weigh with this. So it's, it's just a lot of things I guess I got to talk to my family about it. And then I know you've got a game to get ready for and everything, but do you observe signing day? Are you kind of keeping up with who you guys are getting? Uh, do current players play any kind of role of trying to get guys to come? Honestly, uh, I stay away from all that. Um, I don't really pay attention to any of the signing day stuff. <laughs> I didn't even know uh, what day signing day was or anything, so that's kind of been what I'm at. Thank you, Ed. Appreciate it. Thank you.